I'm going to show you how to take the rainbow challenge. Wouldn't you like to use these shiny new liquid tempers? Well, I'm only going to allow that if you can take the rainbow challenge and prove that you know how to keep your brush clean. Because if we get these dirty, that means we have to throw them away and it's a giant waste and it's no good for the next person. So, first you got to show me that you can keep your brush clean by using temper cakes. So, here's how you do the rainbow challenge. All you got to do is paint the rainbow, but instead of using a sponge, you're going to use that paper towel. And you have to keep it clean when you're ready for a new color. So here's my red of the rainbow. And then watch how thoroughly I clean my brush. Touch the bottom. Okay, looking good. My paper towel is still white. All right, I'll do a little orange. Make sure your paper stays still. Now, if it mixes on your paper, that just looks really cool. That doesn't matter. Okay, wash the brush. How's my paper towel doing? I touched the bottom. I mixed it so nicely. Up, oh, still clear. All good. Let's do the yellow. Hmm, that's nice. It runs a little. It looks so pretty in my picture. Again, here we go. And uh, if I kept doing this, I would pass the test and I could use the paints. But just to be interesting, let me show you what not to do. Okay, so I'm waking up my green. Time for a green stripe. Here it goes. Looking good while I'm painting. Everything's good so far. Here's what I don't want you to do. You washed your brush. You think you washed it. Really, you didn't. Oh, my. Look at that paper towel. I see some green paint. Now, if I were using liquid temperas and I went to dip this brush in a new color, I would ruin the paint. So that means that you did not pass the rainbow challenge and you can try again another time okay good luck i hope you can pass the rainbow challenge the end